welcome to this week's angling blog this week you join me on the banks of the canal we're going in search of pike and along the way we're going to look back a few sessions have been on over the last couple of weeks where i've been in search of perch and pike on both the lure and on dead baits before we get into this week's blog i'd just like to thank everybody that enjoyed last week's video where we went in search of those dace on the river ribble it was great to be back chasing those dace on the stick float and it was great to hear that you guys enjoyed the vlog and enjoyed watching it so thank you very much and if you are new around here there's a new video every friday at six o'clock so subscribe below and if you enjoy this week's video please leave it a like so i do appreciate that some guys are subscribed to the channel for the pike fishing and i do apologize that there has been a lack of it on the channel since october whether that's been down to local lockdowns or the state of the waters that i want to fish I do apologise there has been a lack. That doesn't mean that I haven't been out in search of pike. I've been fishing a venue where I've been allowed to film, but I've not been allowed to release the content till later on in the season. So as you can see on screen now, I've been catching some lovely pike and those videos will be live on the channel round about the middle of January towards the end of January. So to those guys subscribe for the pike content, there's plenty of action coming. With that said, I hope you enjoy this week's video. Tight lines in your own fishing, and I'll catch us all next week. Hello, oh, and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week, you join me on a cold morning on the banks of the canal, and we're in search of pike. In recent weeks, we have been out in search of those chub and being a weekly vlogger you have to go with what you're thinking about in the week when you're sat at your desk at work or in the house as it is with lockdown what is on your mind what am i looking forward to doing at the weekend and of late chub i've been that species sat on the banks of the canal at first light you can just hear the road is starting to build up behind me and today i'd just be happy to see that float come alive that's what i've been thinking about in the week and hopefully by the end of this vlog, we'll have that sight of a float bouncing along the canal. So the rods have been in now for about half an hour and that's normally about the time I would give it a recast. What it allows you to do is know whether you're snagged up, there's nothing worse than leaving the rods in for an hour or two, going to move and bringing the rod in and it's covered in a, a bin bag or it's stuck on a snag. And sometimes just that recast can, you know, push a pike onto feed. It's amazing how many times you get a run just after the recast. So I'm just going to have a quick recast of the rods and that's exactly what I mean you can see there all the time that rod's been in which has only been half an hour it's been stuck on a plastic bag if that was an hour in you'd have just wasted an hour rather than half an hour so on the canal it's always important to travel light you never want to feel like you don't want to move so I've got my trusty shaky box goes everywhere in winter we hold all, a couple of dead baits, and the trusty brolly. So second spot of the day, just put out the smelt and the herring again. And hopefully, if we just keep moving every now and again, we can just drop on a pike. The canal is quite clear, but we have had a boat go through, which has added a bit of colour. So hopefully, you know, we can just find where them pike are feeding and start to build a picture for future sessions away from a venue for a while you do lose touch with it and that can happen in just a week or two 
when you're on the venues every week you begin to get a feel for where the silvers are and where the pike are so we're just beginning that journey today of just trying to locate one or two fish but constantly looking at the water for signs of those silver. It has proved to be quite a difficult morning which is not unusual for this canal the margins for never are quite fine you can be just a small amount of distance away from pike and not get any action we had that small pike early doors and since then it has been quite quiet what I thought we'd do now is have a look at some sessions that have been going on recently where they've been taking the lure rod out and going in search of perch so the first bite of this learning curve and it took about three or four casts as you can see it's only a tiny perch but to me it means the world it's absolutely nailed that little five centimetre squirm and great fun let's get it straight back and see if we can get another the very next cast and another perch and must have just dropped on a few of them that hit it literally as soon as it hit the water and again it's absolutely nailed that squirm and yeah it's what I need really when I'm learning plenty of bites to recognize what the bites are like but yeah boy am I made up and nipped out tonight so tonight has been all about learning and changed the retrieve up and reeled it in rather than bouncing it in and the best one of the night has come up and nailed that lure proper proper made up so in the last 15 minutes worked the retrieve out and I'm getting a bite of chuck I'm missing a few because I'm new to it but we've had quite a few in the net that I've been putting in the net to have a look at the end well that's another one of the better ones and that's the best one of the night so far and when you do work that method out it's amazing how many you can catch so today's lesson has been you can't come to the same spot with the same tactics and expect the same results been playing around with a few of the squirms same ones that was emptying it last time <laughs> couldn't get a bite just changed over to a more of a, a fish shaped paddle tail first cast and we've got one and it just shows you've got to give them what they're feeding on or something similar and they'll take it and look at the beautiful colors on that absolutely beautiful such vivid colours in the fins and perfect like I said earlier I am going to have to get more batteries for the GoPro and so I can record everything as I'm casting and, and getting the bites but that will come in time I just wanted to make sure one I'd enjoy it and I am doing and two that it was something that I could do long term and I can see me doing this more often so we'll pick up a few more batteries and come out and record the whole session and I may not have had loads of bites on this session but I've learned a lot more than the last one when they were all over one bait changing about that is a real scale lure just popped it on and the first cast picked up another one and it's a bit like changing you know your depths or your feeding patterns with the stick float fishing you keep ringing the changes I think and it keeps one or two fish coming the difference in the two sessions has been mad size of that bait compared to the perch that set it another lesson that we're learning and today ringing those changes has been paramount right so i've been through a few more times with a really small squirm and what i'm going to try now is just something a bit bigger a bit more in your face still the same color just gonna go with one of the veggies again the only thing in there is if there's something decent about and it sees a bigger meal it might have a good go for it i'm going to try and get back onto these before the end but i'm just gonna have a couple of casts with the veggie so i was beginning to wonder whether there was any better you know perch about seeing a lot of fry topping and We've had them to about 10 ounces maybe. Changed over to a veggie in a natural colour. And it took a while, you know, I was casting for a while and I thought, no, a bigger bait maybe. And I don't even think there's any crayfish. 
in this area that I'm fishing. I've certainly never seen any. One pound, I think it was 12 ounces, I think. I'll pop it on screen now, but absolutely buzzing. Yeah, proper made up. Let's get it straight back. Very next cast, a different shape perch, but feels maybe a bit smaller, but certainly it's weird how you can put a natural bait on like a you know like a, a fish looking bait and you'd think these fish would be all over it. I'm not aware of any crayfish in the river, but that's two better perch coming on it. So nipped out for a quick hour on the lure rod, a tiny five centimetre squirm, just picked up this little jack pike, absolutely great fun on this little light rod. So with the systems down in work, decided to nip out for a quick hour before I got to pick the kids up from school and that's what I'm enjoying most about this lure fishing pick up the bare minimum of tackle and head out was hoping for Mr Perch but I'll take Mr Pike any day of the week a nice result on a super short session let's get it straight back and one of the things I really enjoy about it although targeting the perch you get to see these smaller pike that you never see on the dead bait you see there just alluring the top of its lip a beautiful tiny little pike back you go little guy <laughs> off he goes there we go there's a little one just out the blue just out on the canal today just walking and casting it's on the little salmon at the moment just trying to find some fish and then use the squirms and that to try and target the bigger ones there's a lovely little perch. This video now brings us back up to date with what I've been doing on the bank on the lures and I have got the confidence now to head out with the lure rod and make a dedicated video. If that's something that you'd like to see me do, pop a comment down below and I'll try and get a lure fishing video out where I just take it out, put the GoPro on my head and we see what we catch. Back to the bank, the floats are remaining stubbornly static but hopefully not for too long. So there are not many parts of fishing that I find frustrating but I must say the monotonous chasing, squeaking of coots does get to me sometimes and I said earlier on about the canal going through a, a transition and it does show with the amount of coots on the canal the pike most definitely eat the young well I know for a fact they do because I've lived near the canal all my life and have seen the pike attacks 
and the two go hand in hand don't they if there's a lot of coots on the canal then there's less pike it's the same as if you went on the Savangeti and there was loads of zebras you'd start to worry about how many lions there was about so as you can see on screen now the light is going in the sky and we're well into dusk although that float looks quite clear on the screen I can just about make it out with my naked eye it's been a hard day on the bank and I really don't think I could have done any more and that is how I look at it if I go fishing and I can look back and say I did all I could and it didn't work then I'll leave content and happy knowing that I did all I could I hope you've enjoyed that little bit of perch action and the lure fishing on this vlog if you do want to see more of that pop a comment down below like I said earlier on I'm just going to reel in this rod now tight lines in your own fishing and I'll catch us all next week tight lines